Morning everybody. So we're going to start this off with a little uh, bit of show. Uh, I have the latest crop of youngsters off Musgrove Wizard here. These are all going out uh, this week. Uh, so I just thought I'd show everybody before I got. So there's two, four, six, eight, ten here. Okay. Uh, so there's ten of them here. All of Musgrove Wizard are going out this week. Uh, they look fantastic. I have to say I'm quite happy with them. Um, so I'm just going to show you now. So there's the youngsters there. As you can see, a couple of blues. Mostly checkers, which is what I'd expect. Most of the hens are checkers. Uh, very, very, very nice youngsters, I have to say. Uh, quite smart looking. Um, hopefully they do. The, 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 hopefully they do. What they're supposed to do for everybody. Uh, five of these weren't bred here. Uh, they were reared in a different loft, uh, but they're there now uh, they're, because they're going out. They were just fostered off to a different loft, and so they're reared. They came back yesterday, so we just want to do a bit of a video. So again, all off Musgrove Wizard. Ten youngsters there, all off Musgrove Wizard. Every single one of them. But all different. I think there's uh, six different hens, or five, five different hens involved in all of the parentage of these. So well, well happy with them, I have to say. Well, well happy with them. Um, as for the rest of the boards of Musgrove Wizard, I've, tw I've 12 youngsters flying out. Of the 12, or 13 youngsters flying out. Sorry, the last one off the loft, it was 14. Um, of all of those, uh, I think six of them are from Musgrove Wizard, and I'm in the process now of breeding for myself. So the first ones are going to Cornsy, as you know. So these here are two more of Musgrove Wizard. Full brother and sister to these two are actually already in that team going out. And there's the other two. There's two more. These are two a bit smaller. They're about a couple of days behind those two. Um, all run and all. They're all ready to rock. Those, those ones will be for myself. Incidentally, one out of each of these two nests will be going to the Barcelona One Loft race in the UK. And that's the plan. So they'll be heading over to you, Tony. Um, so yeah, so where are things now with everybody else? At the moment, as you all know, we have coronavirus around the place. So pretty much everything has been curtailed for the last couple of months. Um, for me here, I've just pottered along, I've kept going with what I'm doing. Like I said, I've bred those. I, I haven't been in any rush, to be honest with you. Uh, I kept it worth nearly a three week break before I got those eggs out of them. Um, and I'm in full swing again here now. So I've given out six before, I've ten there. I'll probably give out another six after this, but I'm breeding predominantly for myself now. Um, hopefully get another 20 or 30 youngsters uh, to back up the two year olds, the, the older team and uh, the young boys, the few young boys I have. Incidentally, so these boards are on brightness, they've, they've lights on up to 12 o'clock at night now, you know. So the youngsters, they're out flying at the moment, so I can't show you them. But they're going through the mouth very, very well. Uh, the younger ones now are falling apart with the body mouth, so I think these boards will all be ready for August. Still not sure about the tail or what's going to happen. I am going to leave it, I'm not going to pull the tail feathers. Um, but I'm just going to pay attention. But incidentally what did happen, so under normal circumstances, on the natural system, uh, and you dummy eggs all the time, your boards won't molt until they have bred young boards. But because the lights in this loft have been on, all of the lights, because I have young boards down there, but no way of separating them, the old boards have actually started to molt as well. So I'm just going to show you this. So these boards, the last video I showed you, hadn't molted at all. Okay, bar the two that I did show you that had bred a couple of youngsters. Okay, so this fella now hadn't got a molt. He's now he's now on his toward flight, coming up. Um. So what I decided to do here, they're all the same. They're all falling apart. Um, I'm not going to go through them next, oh, they're sitting dummy eggs, some of them, and I just kind of leave them. Um, so what I've decided to do is, as with coronavirus and the way things have gone, is I've decided to give the old board racing this. I wasn't, I wasn't racing old boards, I was only sending them until a man with the BICC. Um, but they're gone and too, they, they, their mouth has gone way too far now for this. So a lesson learned, you know, I, I didn't realise what was going to happen with the old boards, such as life. Now what that benefits me was, I started off with 16 old boards, okay, for racing. And I got four back that weren't, five back, four back, four back that had been either sold or I'd given two to my dad that one of the hands kept coming back, he lost one, somebody else raced it, put an ETS ring on it, that cock came back at the start of the season. Um, and I've had two other similar have come back, okay. So I've had boards back that were out. 
I put it out there if people want them, they're there, they're your boards. I have, I, you know, please, well, certainly not the ones that have come back to me that weren't sold, but there's certainly, there's one sold there, or two sold there, no, one sold there, that, or two sold, actually, there is, yeah, that, that should have, and somebody else, and always come back to me, so, you know, they're still there, so I don't really want them. But what that has meant for me is, I now have 2016, a 2016 hen, you know, four 2017 pigeons. Uh, I've won 2018 and I've 10 odds for 2019. So I've actually got 20 to 24 old boards now that are more than a year old next year. So what that means for me is, I'm just gonna bear with these. They can stay there. I'm gonna breed another 30, 30 odd youngsters. But those old boards are now going to be the international team next year, hopefully. I'm gonna aim for Barcelona next year with the really old ones. And I am going to race, aim for the Asian International, I think, for everything else. That would be two-year-olds uh, uh, and probably, you know, so it would be the mix of the two-year-olds. In fact, the whole lot, because there will be two-year-olds next year, the youngs that are two-year-olds next year. So the older ones will go to Barcelona, the three plus-year-olds, and the two-year-olds will all go to Asian if I, if I want to do it that way. Um, <clears throat> And then I'll have some yearlings will go to the man. That, that's how it's going to be the way. And then I'll pick a handful of young boards for Lawrence. So, unbeknownst to me, the old boards have started molting. The young boards are going through it well. I should have kept them in. I didn't realise I was going to do this video this morning. I wanted to show you those young boards before they went out. So that's what I'm breeding at the moment. They're a fantastic crop. That's what this lot looked like. They're all going through the molt. Uh, I'll be in the second, bud. Um, I'll be in a second, okay? Uh, so... Yeah, children call you, it uh, doesn't matter what you're doing. So the youngsters actually look very well. I wanted to show you them before they go out. I've mourned the nest. So I've four hatched, I've four eggs floated. I have uh, four eggs off the bull system already going. I'm due another two eggs in there. I'm doing them just because of the time and the coronavirus. I've just decided to do my three at a time. So that's how I'm doing it, just just my, just my three a week. And then what it means is the hens get nearly a four week period before I'm asking them to lay again. And Put them in the section there. They're actually in that section with the young boys at the moment. They're actually, it's handy to just just the space I have at the moment. So that's the plan. Um, other than that, there's not much going on. Racing is going on now. Fellas have managed to get out training despite coronavirus, which is fantastic. Um, and and we're all go. Uh, I will be schooling these now from probably mid June, early to mid June for a mid August race. Uh, in Guernsey, that's what these boards are going for. That's that's the aim. Um, and I'm just going to carry on with the with the with the, with the, with, the, with the breeding. Uh, I don't need re really early young boards. I'm not bothered. Um, probably Guernsey will be my race of the year every year now with a few yearlings and a few young boards from here on out. That's what I'm thinking about. Um, and a couple of the internationals. That's what I'm after. All right. Have a good day, lads, and good luck racing and tourists today. Bye bye.